risk governance is the way that societies make collective decisions about technologies, about activities that have uncertain consequences. And when we talk about governance, we mean something different from governments. Governance means that different actors are involved in making these collective decisions. And normally we're talking about four major actors. One is the government or the agencies that are working within the government. We have the corporate or industrial sectors or anything that has been represented by economic actors. Thirdly, we have civil society, which is represented by NGOs and other groups that look for a kind of social causes. And lastly, the all experts, scientists that present the state of the art in knowledge. And specifically in risk decision making, we see that all four have something to say, have some power to play, and the main issue about risk governance is to find out how these four different actors interact and if they do something to reduce the risk or if they actually amplify the risk. So all of that plays into this term governance. That's a very important uh, issue because very often when we do public decision making, the decision makers are shy of admitting that they have gone through trade-offs, that, you know, that they have tolerated some bad outcome in exchange for getting some positive outcome. And if you are not clear about that, I think those who suffer from the bad outcomes feel that they have been neglected or that they have not been taken seriously. And on the other hand, it gives the illusion that people believe there is always a win-win situation. And if you believe that, then you cannot accept any type of trade-offs. So I think it is very crucial in decision-making to say, well, we have four options. Each of these options have some positive and some negative impacts. And we'll try to minimize the negative impacts, but there was still some. And minimal impacts, even if they're small, will affect people differently. So some people will be exposed more to it, some people less to it. So there's always the equity question involved. And you have to be very clear about first, what are the negative impacts for the society and who is going to suffer from them? Is it the poor and the privileged or is it you know, the women or whoever? And I think that's a very important element also for communication to say, look, there are some people who are taking more burden than others and we acknowledge that now. Maybe we need to compensate them for that, but it's not good just to keep silent about it. Well, I think, you know, it's almost made for these types of complex issues. If you have a very simple issue, actually you only need a governmental agency. So if you want to regulate uh, safety of bicycles, well, you don't need an input of different experts and different stakeholder groups. I mean, you know what you want. Everybody wants more safety, it's very clear how to do that. Um, what, if you think about climate change, the science is contested, the consequences are clear, you have a lot of uncertainty, you have a lot of ambiguity in there. And that's why I believe that the risk governance model that we propose is really you know, a good um, uh, scientific or analytic instrument. First, to understand the debates and the discourse about climate change, but secondly also to influence it in a way that you know, the risk overall is reduced or even minimized. And that's why I believe that you know, we need to have a complex model for dealing with